folks, welcome back to Open Line. We are getting your questions answered. We know someone called in wanting that ethics uh, address again oh, that you were talking about. Perfect. How to check out a financial yeah. advisor. Um, that one specifically is ethics.net. Okay. So it's an ethic, national ethics association, but it's ethics.net that you can plug in an advisor in an area and find more information out about them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you for answering that. Let's go to Gay now. <clears throat> Gay, I promised we would take your call. Go ahead, please. Thanks for calling in, by the way. Uh, is this um, Terry? Yes, ma'am, it is. Oh, good. Okay. Um, welcome to the uh, Tennessee area. Thank I'm you. actually in, in Katy's, Kentucky. Um, I've got a couple questions about my retirement. I have nowhere near a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Um, I've got small um, uh, IRA and a, and a Roth IRA, and with uh, Morgan Stanley, and I'm getting notices from them, and they send me uh, uh, invoices. I guess you could say. Uh, statements that they're taking out fifty dollars here, uh, ninety six dollars there, because the accounts are below what the minimum is for the account. And I was never really informed about that. Um, wondering, are those uh, normal fees? Um, shouldn't that actually be uh, be some sort of better notice than they just up and, and withdraw it and then send me the notice that they've done so? Yes. Um, the other thing is, I'm seventy years old. And um, I'm past 70 and a half, and I've gotten notice from one um, account, I don't remember now which one it was, said that they're going to start sending uh, early withdrawals, and I do know that there's that, uh, some sort of, of thing you can delay it one year, but I'm not quite sure. I, if I go ahead and receive it now, can I, should I put it in a savings account? Will I lose the uh, tax status on it? I don't have to pay taxes because my uh, Social Security is so low it, it doesn't uh, count. Okay. Let's start with that one first, and then we'll go back to the fees. Go back then? Okay. okay. Um, the first one is something called RMDs, or Required Minimum Distribution. Mm -hmm. So once you hit 70 and a half, you have to start taking money out of your IRAs. Uh, the percent when you are 70 and a half is like 3.74. So there's, there's actually a RMD schedule, they call it, where it, it's based upon your life expectancy. So every year you get older, the more money you have to pull out. That will be taxable. So you have to take that distribution. It's only of your IRAs, not of your Roth IRA. So the Roth IRA, you do not, do not have to take a distribution. The IRA, you do. So she'll... And she'll, can she put the money into a savings yes, account? Is there yes. any rule of where it nope, needs to go? No, nope, just has to come out. So and, but know that you will be taxed on it. You'll be taxed on it, yeah. Okay. But now, if her income, like she had mentioned, is lower than... It's, it's immaterial. Okay. So, yes, technically you should be taxed, but if it's, if it's that low, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pay tax. Let's go back to the fees. All right. Fees, yes, and I probably do have a couple of blanketed recommendations that okay. I would not normally do unless I sat with you. So it's not, it's not going to so be that. So you have that asterisk. By There's it. Okay. an asterisk that yeah, I don't know your whole story. Yes, you shouldn't pay that much in fees. Um, if somebody is charging you that much, it's because you're not hitting their minimum. Mm -hmm. That is something um, that you can do something about. So, if you're getting great service. Well, then you may look and say, well, okay, I can, I can tolerate these fees. But doesn't if not, like it doesn't sound like that's the case. No. I would suggest that she could go to a, um, like a Vanguard mutual fund mm -hmm. or some kind of no-load mutual fund that does not charge you a fee. Some will, may charge you a little bit for the IRA fee or the custodian fee, they call that, just to custodian the IRA. But it should not be what she's experiencing. Okay. It should be less than what she's experiencing. So she needs to call Morgan Stanley, I think she mentioned, and say, hey, yeah. this isn't working for me. Yeah. What are my options here? Can I just get it, my money and go somewhere else? And Gaya, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. If you have questions, just call the office. Yeah. And, I, and I'll give you a call. And I can look at what you're investing in now um, and then make a few suggestions, more so than I, I, mean, I can't do it here, but make a few suggestions where I can say, you know, call Vanguard or call someone where you can have at least some good information um, and invest in these funds. So, And whether it's gay, we put the phone number for you, gay, so go ahead and jot it down. Give uh, John a call. Also, the portfolio stress test, first yes. 10 callers, leave a yep. message first, tonight. Mm -hmm. You're going to help them out. Yeah. Yep. We'll do that complimentary. We'll do the whole portfolio stress test, run through everything, analyze fees, investments, um, how much risk they're taking and mm -hmm. make sure it's in line with what they're trying to achieve. Wow, that could be a great way to start the new year. Yes, it could you know? be. Wow. <laughs> it's an undertaking, but it would be good to say, done. it's but done. Do, but if you only yeah. do it, 
the hard part, it's like anything. Mm -hmm. You know, the, what, what's the, another, I'm like the cliche guy today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a journey of a thousand steps begins with the first step. Right. And once you take the first one, it's, it's hard now. Yes. When you are tweaking something or you're coming back, once the planning is done and that process is in place, it's just a matter of maintaining it and then making minor adjustments and it's not as time consuming or as hard as it is now. Now it feels like I gotta pull out the statements. I haven't opened those mm -hmm. up in years. I gotta yeah, where find am I gonna out find where them? they are. Exactly. <laughs> where are they? Now they're gonna make fun of me. And right. No, no, you gotta but just start. Okay. Just my, start. You know what my favorite cliche is? Hmm. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. I like it. See, we're full of them tonight. <laughs> you know, we've talked about your buckets and that assumes you've got all this money to kinda of throw around. Yeah. What happens when you have debt? Where do you start with that when it comes to planning for your future, but then trying to get that debt under control and get it out of your life? What do you do? Okay, um, two things. The amount of money that you have is uh, immaterial to the buckets. You still should use some kind of bucket strategy. Now, whether you're throwing around a million or a hundred or 10,000, mm -hmm. you can look at different, you still should say, okay, I'm gonna allocate this amount of money and this is the, the amount that I'm gonna use in each one of those categories. So the buckets, we should keep the same. Now, to your point though, yes, debt is, um, that's a killer. Mm -hmm. But I also know, you know, when you get into that and it snowballs and it seems like you talk about climbing onto something. Right. All right. Something that we have um, that we put together years ago was called a debt elimination calculator. So here's my strategy for debt. Okay. Look at um, your budget. Another dirty word, I know. Mm -hmm. So look at your spending analysis, all right, or your spending plan, <laughs> all right? There's something called the latte effect. Cut out a latte or something that you can, let me back up, I jumped ahead. So look at your budget, look at your spending plan, and say, okay, I really need to eliminate this debt, and how am I going to do it? Um, look at the numbers that you're spending on some of the stuff, and then change them. You know, a big one is coffee. Mm -hmm. This latte effect is, I mean, it's four bucks a day, times five days if you're working, mm -hmm. $20. I mean, it's $80, $100 a month that you're spending on coffee. So you could look and say, maybe I, maybe I cut that up. Here's the strategy. Okay. Look at what your spending plan is and what money you can, what you can change. How much do you have extra in that particular spot? Um, or in any spot. I mean, so if you find an extra $100 a month, let's say you have three credit cards, or th and I would just do credit cards. I wouldn't be in a hurry to pay off your house. Uh, there's a caveat there. But take your three credit cards and uh, put them down. And I have this Excel spreadsheet too. If people want, email me or call us and I'll send it to you. And what it is is you, you identify the minimum payment for each one of those credit cards. So if one of them is $50, one of them is 75 and one's 100 put down the order in which you want to pay them off. So take your extra, if your extra amount is $100, take your $100 and say, you know what, I want to pay the lowest First, balance sure. off or I want to pay the highest, highest. balance. Mm -hmm. For me, because I've been there, <laughs> you know, I might be sitting here, yeah. but you don't get here. <laughs> Nobody goes from here to here. There's a few oh, of yeah. these in between. Life happens. Yes, it does. Yeah. So, for me, um, it was always getting rid of the uh, number of bills that were coming to my house. Sure. So I got rid of the smallest one first. Mm -hmm. So I would take take my hundred dollars. They call it your power payment, or I call it your power payment. Pay a hundred and fifty towards the card you want to pay off first. Pay the minimums on the other two. Mm -hmm. When that one's done, take your hundred and fifty dollars. Apply it to your seventy-five dollar one. When that one's done, take your two hundred twenty-five dollars. Apply it to your hundred dollars a month. Now you've paid them all off. You can find out exactly what day you're going to be debt free. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. That'd be life changing for yeah. a lot of folks. Then take the three fifty a month or whatever your number is and start saving, saving. that. And now our thirteen percent that you referred to twenty minutes ago. You're out of there. Yeah. Yeah. You're out of there. <laughs> All right, I you're like out that. Of there. Okay, John, very good. We're gonna be right back with more open line. Stay with us.